you are watching Loopy Frog and I want to um, have a wee play with the Jolie Beauty Sorceress palette. Um, I've had this for a little while and I've just been too ill to delve in and I just want to have a look and a swatchy. And um, this is the outer sleeve here but the palette inside has the same artwork. It is gorgeous. Look at that gilded, those gilded corners. So, right. Are you ready? Oh, there's my towel. <sighs> it has a mirror as well. On the other side, you look simply bewitching. Absolutely gorgeous. Oops. So as you can see, this has been untouched. It still has the little sheet thing. <laughs> it's a disgrace, I tell you, a disgrace. So, oh, it is so gorgeous. There is such a huge variety of textures in here. It's it's just amazing. And it makes you want to play. So um, I'm just going to do some finger swatches today. Um, I'm new to the swatching on camera thing. And the last time I tried it, brush, bleh, I tried brush swatches and it wasn't very good. Um, I've just been, I'm just a bit, oh, I don't like doing finger swatches because, you know, the thought of getting your skin oils in there and I'm really scared of hard pan, especially when I really love a palette and it's a special palette, but needs must. And this thing needs to be played with. So I'm going to stop being pernickety and get going. Just drinking my tea out of my Metal Gear mug. <laughs> okay, so um, let's start with Snow Moon. <gasps> oh, it's so creamy. Oh, it's so creamy. And I think it is just a white. So let's just put it on here. It's a lovely creamy white though. This is just bare skin, so um, please bear that in mind because obviously when I wear <clears throat> when I wear this on the eyes, I will at least have a dry primer, and maybe for shimmers and glitters, I would have a sticky primer. Uh, so please bear that in mind because on bare skin, you're obviously not getting the performance you would get on the eye. Well, that is just a beautiful formula. That is so soft and gorgeous. That's beautiful. Oh, look at Equinox. It looks like a duochrome. <gasps> oh my goodness. That is stunning. That is stunning. Oh, what a beautiful duochrome. And I think this has two colors in it as well. This is called Transform. is pigmented as heck. Oh my word, that is stunning. <gasps> that is that is quite different on the arm to in the pan. And this is why we need swatches, girls and boys. Girls and boys, oh my goodness. <laughs> what am I like? Okay, so here we go for Sorceress, which is pretty much the exact colour of the outer packaging. 
Well, that's just lovely. That is a lovely plummy mat. That is a lovely plummy mat. Beautiful. Okay, so here we go with one of the glitters and this will need a sticky base. But wow. Okay, wow. <laughs> that will need a sticky base. Okay, that is so fun. That is so fun. It's got a lovely metallic sheen to it. A love potion. Love potion looks on the sort of pinky side of sorceress. It's not very far away from it. And I am not even swatching on camera. That's oh, so professional. That's a gorgeous magenta. That is, I t tell you what, um, these formulas are superb. I'm loving that colour. Oh, that is going to be so gorgeous. Blending out in the crease. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that might be a stainy one. Look at my finger. Oh, maybe not. It's come off. That's not too bad. Right, let's go to Conjure. Which, for light to medium skin tone people, would be a nice transition shade. I mean, obviously, if you're dark, you go for Spellbound. But, yeah. A, a really lovely, soft matte. Bewitching. I think this might be a... You know what, for a dark grey, that has a really, really lovely formula. Sorry, camera problems. Room, room problems as well, because it's such a big palette. That's lovely. Another glitter here. This is Nancy. Whoa! Okay, let's, let's put it there. I can tell there's a bit of st st um, there's a bit of grip there, but uh, obviously as a glitter it will need a sticky base. That's cool because it's it's like black and silver, but it, um, clumped together it has a bit of a gunmetal look to it, which is pretty cool. <gasps> this looks so pretty. This is ship's sh ugh, ship shifter. Why is that hard to say? Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my word. What ha what is this magic? It's green, but it's purple. Whoa. Wow. I, I'm not getting the green shift. Oh, there, you can see the green. Believe me, it does have a green shift. Okay. That, that is so cool. You know what? I don't think I've ever seen a pressed multi-chrome in a palette before. 
That is so impressive. Okay, let's go for Hocus. What a pretty shade. That is so pretty. Oh! It's like a pastel lilac. So soft. So soft and pretty. Ah, oh, absolutely lovely. I'm running out I'm running out of arm space, so I'm gonna do, do a little bit of a clean. Where were we? Hallow's Eve. This looks like a lovely purple mat. Oh, still got glitter from before. Glitter always gets everywhere. That is lovely. Oh, that just glides on so smoothly. Oh, so lovely. And I like that this purple isn't too warm. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's go for Enchantress, which looks really interesting. It's like this. It's more metallic than I expected. Oh. Oh, that is stunning. Okay, this is one of the stars of the palette. That is beautiful. That is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm actually nearly drooling here. What a messy... <laughs> what a messy shade, though. Sometimes the messy ones are worth it. <laughs> Let's go for a witching hour. Which looks like, oh, a deep gunmetal. That satin formula, that is so beautiful. And honestly, this one, even though it looks textured in the pan, it goes on just as smoothly as the satins and mats. They... Obviously, the only ones that really perform differently are the glitters. It's quite impressive how even difficult mats are. Whoa, this shade! It's like this grey. It's like a putty grey. Oh my word, I love it. Oh, I love it. <gasps> Oh, this body grey. Oh, that, that is a spooky shade if I ever saw one. And I've been wanting pale greys for a long time. And you never see pale greys in palettes. I don't know, are they difficult to make or what? Or do they think people just don't want them? Am I a weirdo? Yes, we know I am. <laughs> Let's go for chalice. This looks pretty. Pretty silver. Whoa. This is the same texture as Enchantress. It's probably the metallic bits in there. Um, as you, you can see the texture a little bit, and if you're not careful, you could get some fallout, but so far, so far this palette has not been fallouty at all. I mean, Obviously glitters are messy. They will always be messy. But although these two look messy in the pan, as you can see, they just went on like butter. And I dare say once they're on, they're on. And will not give you any trouble. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. This is clairvoyance. <gasps> Whoa, I thought it was going to be more like, oh, 
Oops. You see, you're seeing the foily type texture there. This is so much paler on than I was expecting. I think I left it off too much to be quite honest. Okay, I've put too much on. <laughs> but it's so pretty. I hope I've got good lighting here. Pretty. Okay. So we're going for focus, which is next to hocus. <laughs> Oh, this is a bit, oh, the screen is a little on the chartreuse, chartreuse side. Very cool. And here we have powerful and a does indeed look like a powerful, like a very cool toned green. Uh, it's coming off a little bit teal on camera, but it, it is a cool green. Whoa. Whoa, that is so cool. Actually, these two would go well together. Okay, so here we have Lunar Eclipse and it looks pretty dark, but whoa, there's a cool, there's a really cool blue to silver shift in there. And am I seeing a hint of purple in that gray as well? What an interesting shadow. That is really cool. It's funny because they look, these three look so similar, but they're not. <laughs> and that is why we need to do swatching. So this is Tarot, which looks like a black and silver mix. But how does that compare to Nancy? Hmm. I think we need to swatch Nancy again. Uh, put them together. Right. So this is definitely more grey and that really is like a black and silver. They are quite similar but less so swatched. Ah glitter everywhere! I think we need a new, I think we need a new arm. It's these two, oh Beautiful. <laughs> Literally got glitter up to my elbow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here we have Solstice, which is a slightly warmer grey. It's pretty, pretty deep. I'm sorry, I still have glitter. <laughs> that would be such a useful deepening shade if you don't want to do black. Dreamcatcher. Another glitter. Didn't realize there were quite so many good. Oh, but it's not pure glitter. Ah, 
Okay, so weirdly, I thought that was going to be much more glittery, but it blended out buttery like Enchantress, and it's actually more shimmery than anything else. Beautiful. Okay, let's do healer, which looks so vibrant. What an amazing pop of green in this palette. That is impressive for like an almost an almost neon matte. That is an impressive formula. That is flawless. Absolutely flawless. Wow. And now we come to quite possibly the most interesting looking glitter. This is Crystal Ball. And... I mean, is that St. Patty's Day in one eyeshadow or what? <laughs> like seriously? It's quite dense for a glitter, like more dense than the other glitters. It's, I think, yellow gold, green, and what looks like a turquoise shift in there. But seriously, that is a St. Paddy's Day glitter right there. <laughs> Typical Irish girl response. <laughs> okay, here we go for a poppet, which looks like quite possibly the most perfect green map I have ever seen. <gasps> Whoa. Wow. I, I am so impressed with the matte formulas in this. Seriously? Like, especially the greens and the lavender, uh, like, they, and, and this grey here, they could have been so chalky and they're not. That is, that is superb. And Sabbath, which looks like just a black, which, Yep, the matte black, which you kind of have to have, really, in a palette like this. It would have been a miss if it weren't in there. It's a very... Yes, it's a black, but it's on the brown side of things, I would say, which probably makes it more wearable in a way and probably makes it the beautiful formula that it is. That is so perfect. Like, oh, I am so impressed with these formulas. I'm going to ba go back into Solstice a second because I think, yeah, I didn't do that swatch well enough. That was my fault. I think my arm was still a bit damp from the white. Because seriously, every, trust me when I say every single matte is very, very, very good. Every single one of these formulas is impressive. I mean, not a lot of people like pressed glitters. I, I like some because it's fun. But I've got to say, in terms of pressed glitters, this, this is the, by far the best in the palette. It is the most unique press glitter I have ever seen and it is an absolutely genius mix. It's just amazing. So yeah, that was so fun to try. Let me know your thoughts. That, that one is such a surprise because it looks green in the pan. And then, oh surprise, it's multi-chrome and it's all sorts of colors. Obviously why it's called ship, sh ship shifter. 
Um, yeah, these three here are very shifty. They're probably the most expensive pigments in the palette. And I think I read somewhere, oh, you're not getting quite as much. But those pans look full to me. They look full. These three, four metallic -y ones, just buttery smooth. I think that there's maybe one too many press glitters in here, simply because these two are so similar. But this one is definitely more gray and there's almost like a purple tint to it, whereas that's just black and silver. But um, I honestly cannot say anything bad about this palette. And I cannot wait to get it on me eyeballs. Not my actual eyeballs. <laughs> I think in terms of balance, the colour story is perfect because you've got a lot of neutrally shades on this side. But like here is mostly colourful. And so that's more than half the palette is colourful. Uh, but you could get some really gorgeous, grungy looks as well. And yeah, it's the biggest palette I have. So it's quite kind of, ah, where do you start? But when you break it down, yeah, it's, it's laid out very nicely. So um, I just beautifully curated. My first Julie Beauty, and I'm sure it won't be my last. <laughs> And um, have you got this palette? Let me know what you think of it down below. And as a, as a shopper, as a makeup enthusiast, personally, I prefer real, what I call real swatches, as in not using the stencil. Because for me, you can see texture better because you can see how it blends out. Whereas if these were in a stencil, you... You can't see, oh, look at the stem. You can't see texture as well. Uh, but that's just my personal preference. Um, so that's, that's why I do swatching this way. So let me know your thoughts down below. And thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.